We had two fish fairly quickly. Quinn caught the first one. Rob caught the second one. And I caught the third one. And then the other fella caught the fourth one. And then the seals started hitting. Oh my God, it was just unbelievable. You, after that, when a salmon hit, you just had to just bull winch it, try and get it on top of the water. And they wanted to be on top of the water because they didn't want to have anything to do with the seal that was chasing their asses. They wanted to get in the boat. And uh, the one we must have fought for 25 minutes. And they weren't afraid of us at all. They came right up to the boat. They would uh, let go and then grab it again. The one seal had to surface four times before he actually let go. Uh, another fish we had on had two seals on the poor thing. One on its head and one on its tail. But the beauty about it all is we did get all the fish in. We limited it out that day. And the seals for some reason did not wreck the salmon at all. They just had little gnaw marks on their heads so we were allowed to keep everyone that we hooked except for the ones that got away. Pretty remarkable day for more reasons than one. A, the fishing was hot. B, uh, every fish that we hooked, we had to contend with these angry, bloody seals for. And C, uh, it was the first time the old man had been salmon fishing in over 20 years. So he used to fish them all the time down on the Sunshine Coast, but. And the fishery collapsed in the 90s, kind of packed his rods up and headed inland for some trout, I guess. So it was kind of special in, in that regard and that he, he, he got to get back into some good fishing up, up here, up in the mighty north, um, where, where there is still pretty darn good fishing. So that was awesome. It kind of turned into a bit of a, a perfect storm sort of scenario. The wind was howling, probably blowing 40 or 50. 
Uh, Rob was starting to get scared, wanted to head back, but I calmed him down. I said, Rob, you know, the bite's gonna pick up pretty soon. And almost on cue, you know, the rod started buckling and fishing in the ocean. I grew up most of my life fishing in the ocean. You lose the odd fish to a seal or a sea lion or a killer whale. And, and that's that, you, you either move spots if, if they're the seals or the sea lions are hanging around or killer whales you can pretty much leave right away. But you never almost get them back. And if you do, it, the, the fish are pretty darn damaged and you don't end up really getting to salvage that much. But with these fish, these seals for some reason, I don't know whether there just wasn't enough room for them in, in the river there to, to spool you. Um, so we sort of developed this, this technique where we would, if we caught a fish, and at one point every salmon that we hooked would have within seconds, one, two, three seals on it, right hot on it, and they'd you know, grab it and then you'd end up fighting the seals. So we'd pull the anchor up and we'd chase these seals down and uh, get right on top of them and rev the engine. And then that worked most of the time. And then we'd just crank on these, the rod, crank on the fish and, and uh, have the guy ready with the net. And um, most, every time it worked. They'd cough the salmon up and then we'd crank it in. Sometimes they'd grab it again before you could get it, but they were only grabbing it by the head or the tail. And they, so all the meat in between was just mint. And then you'd get the net and you'd grab it and, and it, it actually made it extremely exciting. Um, every fish became a, a substantial team effort. Um, and uh, you know, all in all, yeah. <laughs> one for the memory books, that's for sure. One thing to land a, a it's not even crazy, marked. powerful, mighty Chinook salmon. Uh, it's another thing to to land one in a tug of war with an angry pack of killer seals. Um, you really got to work together. You really got to know what you're doing. And uh, this is another thing entirely to land five in that way. So. Notice you're holding it out. Does that make the fish look bigger? Or? You know, we ended up getting eight, eight adults and a jack, so nine Chinook in a matter of a few hours, and five or six of them we had to contend with the seals. So, and we came out on top every time. That's not very common from my experience. Normally, the seal or sea lion or killer whale, whatever it is, they get what they want, and that's the fish. Right by the head again. Beauty. That one is mint! 
on top of all of that and all excitement, it was pretty special to see the old man get into some salmon again after 20 years. So that's a pretty good uh, five, six hours of fishing when you can limit out with uh, eight keepers and a jack. And yours truly cut the big one of the day. So that's to be expected, mind you. And uh, it was excellent. An excellent, excellent day. So I'm Captain Quinn and I'd like to thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this film. And uh, make sure to check out the rest of my, my videos. There's lots of them and they're all pretty darn awesome. Um, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to this channel uh, for more awesome videos in fishing, comedy, and the great outdoors. Happy to entertain. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Ha ha ha!